Welcome back from the bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with box number two of 2022 2023 Stature Hockey. This is a $200, yes, $200 Canadian box of hockey cards. Uh, it could vary a little bit depending on where you're getting it from. That was what it cost at my local hobby shop on release day. Uh, it is one pack, one single pack inside this box, you'll see in a minute. Uh, eight premium cards. You are going to get one auto per box. There's a chance of getting two autos, not very often. Uh, I watched a couple of case breaks. It looks like it's maybe one a case that you get two uh, autos. And you might be able to get one uh, patch auto per case also. Not guaranteed. I watched one case that didn't have it. Watched two more cases that did have at least one patch auto in it. So lots of options in this. Uh, the crazy thing about stature is you're not just looking for the rookies. So you're looking for Hall of Famers uh, like Wayne Gretzky and Yager and uh, Iserman and Ray Bork. And it's just there's so many of them in there. Uh, and then you're also looking for your vets. So your McDavid's, your Crosby's, your Ovechkin's, your Matthews, all those guys. Uh, but then obviously you are looking for your rookies too. Uh, this is 2022-23. So it's Beneers, Boldy, Wyatt Johnson, Owen Power, all those guys. That's who you're looking for in this. Um, Matty Beneers, from what I've seen, he is a redemption uh, for this. That is kind of a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, Matty Beneers is a redemption. He's the only one that I've seen that is a redemption so far. Uh, so I don't know if Boldy or Johnston or any of those guys are. Um, and you do get the chance at some uh, rookies from last year. So essentially an update. So Spencer Knight's in this. Uh, and a couple other guys, uh, Scott Perkovich, Riley D Damiani, a bunch of stuff. So, hey, so we'll turn this camera around and we'll get into it. Once again, eight cards. Here's a box this year. Uh, number 62 on this one. First box that did not treat me very well was 47. So, wow. Open it up. See what we can do. Looking for a little better start. My first box pretty much went... Just about as bad as you can go. Uh, so it's all up from there, I'm hoping. Because these are the first box. The Mad Sogard, the Wonder Kind, uh, not terrible. Uh, he's a young goalie. He's 22 years old. Big goalie prospect down in the AHL this year. Um, there we go. There's the there's what the pack looks like. This photo looks like feels thick. Maybe I get the patch. Maybe I get the patch. Who knows? Uh, when I went in, the, this was... Uh, I think the first, the first two boxes off the shelf. I got there pretty early this morning, uh, like 10, 15 minutes after they opened. So we'll get into it. I brought the blocker out and everything for this one. Look at me being prepared. The first video I was kind of all over the place. So I was like, ah, oh, forgot to, uh, no patch, no patch. That's fine. So we'll get into it. Um, Spin that around. Boom. Big thing about stature is A, it looks awesome this year. Um, is that a lot of screen maybe in the auto spot? Um, the design looks awesome. Uh, and then this year, last year I showed it in the first video I did, but Essentially, your Hall of Famers last year were Legendary Heights. Uh, your rookies were Rookie Excellence for your uh, inserts. And then Gravitas was for your um, like current uh, stars. So essentially, those are your three inserts last year. This year, you get the Wonderkind uh, for the rookies. You got, um, where is it? For the Vets, you're pulling out somebody the uh sorry for the hall of fame the dignified and then splendid skaters i think is for your your kind of your your vets so first card there we go our first look at it splendid skaters guy's been lighting it up uh for my fancy hockey team sam reinhardt so very nice design they did an awesome job on the design this year. Um, last year was good too. 2019, 2020, or 2020-21, I didn't really like the designs a whole lot. Uh, but last year was nice. This year is even better. Uh, but there we go. Sam Reinhardt is your first look at the Splendid Skaters on this channel. 
So a little refractor look, kind of off, kind of a different refractor for this little area. But yeah, Splendid Skaters of Sam Reinhardt. Next up, we're going to have two base. Starting off with a Josh Norris base card. Again, really like the way the design this, this year. Just a very refractory look on the borders and stuff. Josh Norris had the overtime winner, or the shootout winner uh, in Sweden. Next up, Vasilevsky. Hopefully he can come back in a couple months. I know they, they really need him. To me, he's the, the best goalie in the league when he's when he's healthy. So, Andre Vasilevsky is our second base. So, that's what you get. The back card is always going to be like your insert. Can be the wonder kind, uh, the, uh, uh, the splendid skaters, or what's the other one? What's the one for the, the dignified? So, those are the back card will always be one of those three. The front two cards will always be uh, your kind of your base vets. Next up, we get number nine out of 99. It's a rookie. There we go. Not too bad. Matt Boldy. Already off to a better start on this one. Matt Boldy on the 88 out of 99. Matt Boldy. Rookies. So I'm happy with that, that for a good start. Uh, last box, I was like, Maybe where I have not so great uh, inserts and base cards and rookies and everything else. Maybe it means I'm not going to have a good auto. Maybe it's going to mean I'm not going to have a good auto. It's fine. Mad so great once again. It's fine. Um, but maybe this is the other way. Maybe you got to get good cards all the way around. So we'll cover up the Dylan Wells who has one game ever in the NHL and then uh, is now in the ECHL. So we'll cover him up with a Matt Boldy. Next up from there, another rookie, another rookie, it is number 399, Pavel Rangata, so ducks for this definitely for 2022-23, uh, definitely don't have the, the power they had in the last 2021-22 uh, with Zegris and McTavish and by and uh, uh, Zegris or Zegris McTavish Drysdale. Uh, so Rangada is definitely a little bit of a, a downgrade from there, that's for sure. Uh, next up, this is the orange. Can I get you to lift up with me? I'm just going to Rangada is going to be my blocker underneath. There we go. Next up. Orange is another rookie, not a rookie. Out of 55. There we go. Iggy. Jerome Iginla. This is the new orange parallel. They added this this year. So 31 out of 55. Jerome Iginla. Actually get to see him score his uh, 600th goal in Colorado. Just happened to be on down to watch some... Uh, some games in Colorado and everything else a few years back. Got to watch him pot number 600. So, pretty exciting for me that day. Big Colorado fan. And once again, seeing a, seeing a legend hit that, that's pretty crazy. Uh, next up. We will go like... Here, that's what I'll do. Oh. I didn't see the card. Maybe you guys did. Looks like our back's going to be a green auto, but red. It's going to be rookie. It is going to be a rookies. It is number to 75. Is that Philip Kral. So we get in a Pontus Holmberg last time for the lease. This time we're hitting Philip Kral. A little bit lower numbered. So out of 75. Nice. I do like the, like I said, just the shine, the shimmer, everything to them this this year. The refractor look. Um, 
big big fan of of the way this this looks this year. So, good job, Upper Deck. Good job. I'm proud of you. That's one thing I can say. They they've I can you know we can all complain and and everything about a lot of these guys lately uh, and some some products, but I find the designs have been really good lately. They've they've kind of brought their A game for the designs. Um, Next up, before we get to the final card, which should be the auto, we're going to go, it's going to be another rookie, not a rookie. So it is out of 25, so this should be a photo variation. It's a pretty good box. Uh, five out of 25, Austin Matthews. And that orange, so that'd be probably, like I said, some kind of photo variation, design variation. I think it'd be the photo variation because the design variation, I think, is the Dylan Wells uh, back there. So photo variation, I'm assuming, for other 25. Austin Matthews, look at that stash. It is terrible. It is not good at all. But for some reason, he thinks it's, it's, it's the way to go. He thinks that stash is... I feel like he might look back in, in, in future years and decide maybe I shouldn't have went with the stash. Maybe I could have went with a different option. But a Boldy out of 99 and a Austin Matthews so far. Uh, like I said, our first one, our insert cards and base cards and stuff were terrible. Um, and our auto was meh at best. I think we got out of there. So hoping that we're getting some good cards. We get the, once again, the Boldy, the Matthews, the Iggy. Um, we're getting all those. Maybe that means this auto will be good. Stature. Is it a rookies? It is a rookie. So it's going to be a rookie auto. Come on. Give me a big name. No, it's not going to be Veneers. We'll take another Boldy. So out of 65, 17 out of 65. I'm just dragging this out. Just... Not terrible. Matias Michelli, 17 out of 65. Not terrible. My gold PMG 101 guy himself, Matias Michelli. Not a bad box. Not a bad. Like I said this, I think you're almost looking for some of the legends and stuff. Uh, obviously, some of the patch autos and everything else. But this was a much better box. Box number one. Was no good. Box number two uh, with the Matthews, like I said, the Boldy, the Iggy. What else we get in here? Iggy, Philip Crawl, Rangada's fine. That's a much better, much better box uh, <laughs> for box two than, than the first one, uh, which was, like I said, our. Mad Sogard was the uh, was the top hit last time. So much, much, much better box for number two. Uh, these are on-card autos. So no sticker. I know I kind of wanted to show that just because it kind of looks like a stickered area, but it's not. It is an on-card auto, which is awesome. That's kind of what you want. Like I said, that's one thing I got to give Upper Deck credit for too. Um, a lot of their products are still like on-card, right? Obviously... Future watches are all on card. Uh, most of the cup, you know, you had the Kaprizov thing from a couple years, from two years ago, three years ago now. Um, the Kaprizov had sticker autos along with Sorokin, I believe. Um, you know, some of that stuff, you just, you, you hate to see it for, for premium, pro, uh, you know, stuff. Even Premier, I think they had, it's a Premier that had Cider, uh, sticker autos and a couple other guys, right? Not what you want to see, um, but like I said, for the good majority, uh, Upper Deck has been sticking with getting on-card autos for a lot of these premium pro uh, boxes. So, once again, much better. Uh, kind of gives you a look at the product overall. You know, go look at video number one. That's kind of your downside. This, I think, would be probably like a middle box, right? Um, Michelli, I, I like Michelli, but he's not going to be a crazy name. You get the low number Matthews, low number Iggy, stuff like that. That that obviously helps these boxes. Um, like I said, that is 
it's a lot of numbered cards, right? You get eight cards and five of those are numbered, um, or four of them are numbered, and one of them is is an, an is an auto that could be numbered. Um, so like I said, lots of numbered cards, lots of different parallels and design variations and everything else. Um, so yeah, once again, just give you, gives you an idea. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, going to be lots of other stuff on the channel. Got some PSA, uh, preview coming up for a bunch of cards. I'm sending off to PSA to get graded. Um, have a bunch of other boxes that I've already ripped, recorded everything else that have to come up on the channel next a little bit. Uh, along with some other stuff I have planned. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I said, hit that like, hit the subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Check out the eBay store down below. For Erica from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.